In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to connect your MacBook into an external monitor or TV in clamshell mode, which means that your MacBook will be closed, but it's going to act as a desktop device and you can actually navigate and use your MacBook without the need of having it open. Okay, for example, in here, I've got a wireless mouse connected into my MacBook and I'm still able to use my MacBook and pretty much work and pretty much do anything I wish to do here with my MacBook while it's closed. And the coolest part about this is that it's gonna save up your battery and your battery health will be saved up because you won't be running your screen, which consumes a lot of charge and battery health. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and fixes. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, this is super, super easy and I'm gonna be showing it to you how to actually do it, okay? So let me quickly open up my MacBook in here. As you guys can see, I've got my MacBook here connected to my external monitor in here and I can pretty much use it as you can see it's connected to my external monitor. Now I've got in here a type C uh, adapter in here and an HDMI cable, which is actually connected into my monitor, right? Now, depending on the ports that you've got here on your MacBook device, you might connect it through a type C adapter or something else, right? This is the normal way of projecting your image into your external monitor back there. Now, once the normal regular connection is already done, which is connecting your device into an external monitor, the trick in here is to actually have your charger connected into your device. This can be a type C in my case or any other charger, but you need to have it connected. If you disconnect it and you simply close it, this will stop projecting the image. But if you open it, and then let's say that I'm gonna unlock it. It's connected into my external monitor. In a few seconds, it's gonna show up real quick. Here we go. It has already showed up. If you connect your charger, it's gonna automatically recognize that you wanna use it as a desktop device. So you can actually close it and your image won't disappear. It might dim, but it's gonna come back real quick. So this is the trick. All you need to do is simply have your charger connected into your MacBook while you are actually projecting that specific image. And note that this is something that you can do, for example, with a projector or a TV. It doesn't necessarily need to be a monitor. Anything will work while doing this. Now, we've got advantages and disadvantages. You cannot access your trackpad. You cannot use your keyboard. That's logic because it's closed. So you're gonna need an external wireless keyboard as well as an external wireless mouse in order to have a better experience while using your MacBook device. Another disadvantage that I found out is that you cannot listen properly to the sound system of your MacBook because the speakers of the MacBook are actually located here at the sides, right? So for example, if you play something, let's say a music or an audio, you won't be able to hear it well. It's gonna be muffled because it's gonna be blocked by the screen in here, which will be blocking the audio system. So if you wanna have the best experience, make sure you've got external speakers connected or earphones and make sure that you've got a wireless keyboard right here as well as a wireless mouse in order to benefit from this experience the best way possible. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful consider subscribing, like the video and leave a comment down below if you have any doubt. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.